yeah welcome back to our pyara pyara sa channel so i think let us start with the topic of integration right now and after learning the fundamentals of integration yeah the topic today is integration i know you are excited to discuss the homework but yes i would take some time first of all i will teach you integration fundamentals the first thing regarding the integration i am telling you since last two days i would like to repeat it once again that whenever you talk about the del delta big change whenever you would like to talk about the big change big change and if you want to talk about the transition so d denotes small change delta denotes big change d denotes small change delta denotes big change if you want to change convert the big change into small change you make the use of differentiation but if you want to add all small 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 changes in order to get a big change you will use the process of integration so small change i would like to change the side now first of all we will be having small change in differentiation and now we want to convert the small change into big change in last two days what we are doing we are converting the big changes into small change by differentiation today we are going to convert all the small small changes add small 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 changes and you will get a big change so we will get the we will be using the process of integration integration okay geometrically geometrically but geometry we are graphs geometry we are not going to discuss right now we will just discuss when to integrate why to integrate and how to integrate people feel differentiation and integration is tough i say doing differentiation and doing integration is very very easy that you would have realized in the last two days that yes doing the differentiation and doing the like doing integration you will learn today but i hope you enjoyed and you have learned how to do the differentiation very easily hai na so doing differentiation is easy but i always emphasized on why to differentiate and when to differentiate in physics similarly today we are going to emphasize more on why to integrate and when to integrate in physics how to integrate is going to be very easy for you so integration is not a tough topic where we should use the integration that is something you need to take care okay so geometrically for or for graphs for graphs you will say differentiation gives you something and notation also notation also i told you dy by dx dy by dx that is how you denote the differentiation and integration integration the symbol of integration or the notation how to write how do you integrate you write it as integration this is a sign it looks like s but it's not s i put it like this i'll stretch it and i'll do it like this so this is a sign of integration it looks like an extended s but yes the meaning is not at all the same okay so basically this is how you uh, write it this is how you denote it okay so uh, integration is denoted by integration this sign y dx y dx i would like to tell you that there are two types of integration two types of integration integration means you are adding the process of adding up i will say integration i call it process of summing up sum up sum up the small 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 changes in order to get the big change that is the process of summing up if you know where to start the process of summing up and if you know where to end the process of summing up sir we would like to add the changes from here and we would like to add 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 and add and stop so if you know that where to start the process of addition and if you know where to end the process of addition you are definite you are specific you know where to start the integration you know where to end the integration so you are definite that type of integration is called definite integration if you are specific 
from where to where that is called definite and if you are not specific you know the process you know how to add up the things but you don't know where to start and where to end that type of integration is called indefinite integration naturally they have their own uses you can't say sir we are interested in definite we are not interested in indefinite or uh, definite integration when you are sure is better in comparison to indefinite no we don't think like that that we should be knowing everything no what we consider is sometimes in physics we would like to be specific regarding the change so we will talk about definite integration sometimes in physics we will try to have the flexibility then we will like to have the indefinite integration i'll tell you about them one by one but before that if we are talking about integration of y dx within limits x1 to x2 within limits x1 to x2 then this will give you what so basically uh the differentiation gives you slope slope of y x curve or f x curve differentiation gives you slope integration gives you area area under y is equal to f x curve with x axis with x axis within limits within limits see i have applied the limit whatever i write below this x1 this thing is called lower limit this thing here is called lower limit lower limit where to start the process process starts what is the process sir process is the process of summing up process of summing up the changes and what is this x2 this is the upper limit upper limit tells you where the process ends process ends so process starts or process commences process ends or process completes so these are the uh, limits now the area under y is equal to fx curve with x axis within limits within limits x initial to x final x i means initial x f means final see i am writing every single detail every single detail i hope you are getting the idea i am saying d means small change d t means small change in time delta t means small change big change in time d x means small change in x delta x means big change in x so whenever you are interested in small change you will write the value d whenever you are interested in the big change you will write the value delta now where do we actually use that sir if we are interested in the instantaneous values for instantaneous values instantaneous values we are interested in the small change for example for example if someone is asking you the instantaneous acceleration you will write it as dv by dt dv by dt but if someone is asking you the average acceleration you will write it as delta v by delta t so this is basically this i will say big change is required for average values for average values example example if someone is asking you average acceleration vector that will be equal to delta v vector by delta t delta v vector by delta t suppose someone is asking you instantaneous power instantaneous power scalar hai scalar that will be dw by dt or de by dt rate of doing work yesterday only you people were telling na rate of doing work is called power rate of dissipation of energy is called power similarly here if someone is asking you average power then you will say w total by t total or you can write it as delta e by delta t so big changes are required for the average values small changes are required for the instantaneous values so in physics both the changes are required sir and the branch of maths that deals with the changes we call it the calculus calculus has many other application also but calculus will be primarily used in physics for dealing with the changes now there are two types of calculus 
differential calculus which you call it as differentiation integral calculus which you call it an integration so what i am saying is that they have some geometrical significance also geometrically also they mean something what is the meaning geometrically i am trying to tell okay what is the meaning geometrically that's what we are trying to learn here i hope that is okay with you fine so sir we want to talk about integration today integration means we are talking about the process of summing up the changes if we know where to start the process where to end the process we call it a definite integration what is this called this expression is called definite integration definite integration again dear i am telling you in physics this is more important to learn when to integrate why to integrate how to integrate it's gonna be easy we will see that today itself how to integrate you will like it 